welcome to my channel this is my first video and for this first video it's gonna be an ode to summer and spring and I'm gonna be showing a video of outfits that I curated through this whole quarantine because I can't really wear it during this whole quarantine because I'm not somewhere in Europe on a beach or walking on cobblestone somewhere nice so I decided to curate all my outfits that I intended to wear if I was really going to do something this summer but I didn't really get to. So this video kind of has like more springish outfits and it kind of has more summer outfits but it's just a variety of different styles filled with different staples for summer. So let's get into it. For the, for the first outfit I have this top. It is from Brandy Melville. It, have, it has like an elasticated neckline as you could see. It could be worn like off the shoulder completely and then it could be worn like that if you don't really want to show your shoulders and it has a sheared bottom right here at the end so it kind of holds onto your body um, and it has a cute little bow tie in the front which makes it kind of dainty like I love dainty I love dainty um, pieces then I paired it with this linen oh you're gonna have to see this in the try on but I paired it with this linen midi skirt from ASOS and it has ASOS oh and it has a nice slit I usually don't like slits in my skirts but you know it's cute this is linen 100% I will mm, let me not lie let me, let me let me not lie but it's a linen skirt and I paired it and I paired it with these shoes these beautiful brown leather sandals I love that. It's from Free People. I'm not really sure what the brand name is, but if I could find it, I will link it. It's really pretty. Accessories. When I do accessories, um, I kind of have the same five accessories. I rotate between them. So for the accessory, I did like a simple seashell necklace, as you will see in the try on. It's kind of, you could adjust it. You could have it long. You could have it choker. You want to feel like a choker if you don't. But yeah, that was for the first outfit, and you will see it in the try on. Like it's like a it was like a nightgown kind of but like I bought it and then I'm using it as like a nice dress it's like really pretty and yeah it's really pretty it's really dainty I like dainty then I have this blazer this kind of like neutral toned but it's like I wouldn't call this brown but I would call it like a neutral tone it's a blazer that I got from H&M it's really pretty kind of oversized which you will see in the try on haul got it from h&m i think i got like a size small but it's like huge it's kind of oversized but i really like it because like i can pull up the sleeves and like i see myself wearing like, this skirt with a blazer like i feel like going out with friends at night like it's like evening i'm going to like a restaurant with my friends i think that's what i would wear how i wear this i think it's like a nice evening look it's really pretty the shoes that i wear which is pretty spunky are Ooh. Okay, the Doc Martin Mary Janes. I almost forgot what they were called. Like, they're really cute. They're really spunky. Like, if you asked me if I was going to wear this, like, a year ago, I would have said no. But I kind of really like it. Like, I like how I could wear it with, like, girly socks and put on a dress. It's, like, really cute. It's really pretty. And it's, like, platformy. And it's from Doc Martin. It's really cute. Barely worn them, but they're cute. I got this chain link necklace and I layered it with the one I'm wearing now which is like a coin pendant necklace and I put it on I kind of was trying to do a layer and I did it with that outfit because I thought it would be cute the dress has a nice v-neck in the middle and I thought it would be really nice to add this and layer it so yeah 
that's the jewelry. and slip dress look. I wore it with this Madewell bag that I brought. It's called the Abroad Bag. When I first saw it, I really liked it. It looks very vintage-y. I love the rusted hardware. I think it looks nice. It's like a, it's like a regular body. It could be crossbody, it could be a shoulder bag. It's very, it's very square, it's very wide. It's like, if you're like small like me, it's gonna be you're gonna see like a big square right by your hip but it's really cute I like I like it she's pretty disclaimer side note all of the jewelry that I'm wearing in this video are the same jewelries in every in every outfit so I'm wearing the same necklace my coin pendant necklace or my chain link necklace that looks like it's rusting great 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 or i'm grabbing them my seashell necklace which i probably wore these in like two outfits but you know you're gonna see the same jewelry and then you're gonna see the same jewelry let's zoom in this jewelry is from and other stories there we go it was i, I bought I really like getting rings from Anna the, Anna the Stories because I think they're really affordable and they're pretty. I like we'll it. see if I could find her. Oh, I'm wearing her. <laughs> you see I have a, a seashell anklet on my foot. I think I got it from H&M like a long time ago. And those are going to be in every outfit. Okay, so for the next look. I have this billabong, red with purple flowers. It's really pretty, the pattern. It's a long, this is a maxi. This is a, like a long maxi. And she's really pretty. She's really pretty, isn't she? She's really pretty. She fits really snug. And it's a wrap dress, which is important to list because I am a wrap dress person, I think if it's anybody and i feel like when you wear it it just singes like here so well like your waist and it's so pretty like this is really pretty i style that dress with mango straw bag and i think it goes really well i think it goes really well with this outfit I have this puff sleeve crop top it has nice puff sleeves this one is from Zara so it gives you a very exaggerated dainty look it has a square neckline which I love and it's like short and like the, the middle parts like tight not too tight it has stretch but it's like tight and very hugging so it kind of like makes you look snatched as the folks would say it. With that dainty crop puff sleeve, I got, I wore this, ooh, it has daisies on it. Okay, I wore this skirt, it's midi, it has nice daisies on it. And it has a nice contrast, cause it has mustard, as mustard yellow, 
and then it has blue and then the white it's like really pretty it's so florally and it has a slit which i don't i'm not a huge fan of slits but oh here it is okay okay so it has one slit right here not too serious but it's like a nice slit which you can see in the trial it's really pretty i wore it with the same brown shoes no need to introduce these again oh and which you've already which i wore, wore with the first outfit i have this mango bag and it's supposed to look like it is supposed to look like the loewe big straw bag and i thought it was really cute outfit is oh okay this nice tank thin strapped you saw my hand from Zara like when I first saw it it's like it, like I, I wanted it because I felt like this would be like a very nudish for my skin tone I think it would look really nice and it does it's very tight it has a square neckline which looks really good so I bought it and it's very stretchy I decided to pair that with these free people flares like they're white flares which is crazy <laughs> where i wore them in um where was it on my trip i wore them to lisbon they were really pretty but i wore it they're very nice have elastic band at the top they're tight and then they flare out to the bottom like you know free people's signature free people's signature flares i love these they're long which is a plus because i'm five nine and things have to be long especially pants and jeans then i paired it with this nice cream oh it's not itchy but it feels really nice it's really pretty it's cream and i wore this also to lisbon i wore this outfit similar to lisbon it was really cute pretty and yeah i just love cardigans like this it's really pretty next look i was trying to feed into like the sporty trend where you have like the cute like little tennis skirt fluttery skirt kind of vibe so for this look i took my um sweater cami and <laughs> cardigan ensemble it come it doesn't come as a set you have to buy them separately which is a hefty price but it's cute and i paired it with cute little i have no idea oh i remember when this was a trend i don't remember what the name of this skirt is but it looks like a tennis skirt but it's not it has like this nice flutter it's like a line it flutters out so cute so it gives you that tennis skirt kind of vibe and i paired it with that it's really pretty so then i paired it with this bag because i really thought the bag the tones of this bag with the Zara sweater and cami set. I thought it would look really good. So this, I got this bag. Not really a small bag person, but I got it because, you know, I have to be a small bag person because look how cute this bag is. It's really cute. I love the pattern. The so JW PEI right there. It took a while to get it when I got it last fall, but I thought it was really pretty. It has like an accordion side like that so it like opens up like that and then like the inside is like a nice maroon color i think it's really pretty but this is what i paired it with cute 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 and then for the shoes since i'm going like the sporty i kind of threw on 
Nike shoes that nobody has ever heard of. I just discovered it. I'm the only one who discovered it. I'm the only one who wears these. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, okay, th these are cute. They're chunky. They kind of down, they downplay any outfit. Nikes. For the next look, I'm wearing this Anna the Stories satin, silkish kind of pistachio colored skirt. Oh, I thought it was really nice. It's cute. I love this color for spring. It's very pistachio. This green white polka dot girly dress like nice little ruffles at the ends are really pretty it has a nice it has a nice shirt back the front detail would have to be my favorite part it has this nice ruche and it has a nice tight waist area and the straps have a nice bow tie they're so cute so you get to tie them which adds to the whole dainty effect which I like so I paired it with um, a linen shirt. It's white, like completely stark white. No cream, no nothing, just completely white. And it's from Uniqlo and it's linen. And I thought it would be really pretty and give like a cute little artsy chick vibe. I paired it with these Mary Jane Doc Martens again because I thought it suited the whole aesthetic and the dress. I thought it would be really pretty. Yep. And I, in the clip, you can see me wearing it with white socks. And in the outfit, you'll see again the Expressions NYC vegan leather bag. <laughs> outfit I'm wearing a very pretty dress I feel like it's the epitome of dainty girly which I like so this dress is from faithful the brand it has a square neckline puff sleeves not too not too puff though and it's really pretty like it's just so like I feel I feel so summery in this dress it's really pretty Kind of short, which you would see. I style this with reoccurring staples. I styled it with the mango straw bag. And I styled it with the brown sandals that you've been seeing in the other outfits. For the accessories, I kind of felt like I wanted to add some seashells necklace in there. And layer and be very drastic with the accessories. Because I was like, I oh, don't know, this is giving me very beachy. So I was like, okay. So I threw on my seashell necklace. I threw on this necklace the pendant coin necklace and I threw on my link chain necklace and I just threw them
for the next outfit, this dress is from H&M. One of the main reasons why I got it because I really love the square neckline, puffy sleeves, and it's also a, like a smockish dress. I thought it was really pretty. It's very girly. I would have gotten this in like a white if they had it. Since that was black, I decided to pair, like with accessories, I decided to pair with some pop of color. So I was like, okay, let me just get my most outrageous bag, which was this purple beaded bag, handbag like this. It's so cute, it's so tiny. It's like a whole bunch of bead embellishments on it, but it's so cute at the top little handle. You could wear it like this. For the shoes, this is a new shoe that we have not seen in any of these outfits. They're black, they're very comfy. They are kind of big for me. It has like a little bit of space at the front, but it's comfy. <laughs> Kinda done. I did another bias midi skirt. I did another one of those because I just really like them. I think they fit me really nice, and they're cute. And I got this one. Look at this color. Like this is this is like a fuchsia. Like this is like a very pop of color, and I think it's so cute. I bought it, and they had it in so many different colors. But I was like, let me just get the most outrageous color. Well, not outrageous, but bold. It's really pretty. It's kind of thin, so. When I wear it, I have to wear like a nude or black underwear. It has a slit right here. It's not completely see-through if you're wearing matching undergarments and it's like a nice pop of color. I decided to pair it with a cardigan, a buttoned, a button-up cardigan in white. I got this from H&M and I thought it was really pretty because I always wanted like, I'm a, I'm a cardigan person and I always wanted like a cardigan that I could wear as a shirt and then wear open up and it's white or it's like a summer color and I saw it on H&M my god it's really cute it's not too cropped fits perfectly I got it in like a lilac color too and I paired it with the same JW PEI bag and the shoes I kind of stayed with the regular shoes that I wore for the previous outfit which the Doc Martens Natalia sandals so yeah Last few outfits. Oof. They're kind of similar but different takes on the same garment garments. Um so here I have another one of Zara's little ensembles, like little cute little sets, but that are not sold together. So this is the little knit bra with the matching cardigan i bought it because it was cute not really sure i'm aware but i bought it because it was cute and i like these kind of sets um i paired this 
with a denim skirt because I realize a denim, a denim skirt is a staple in the summer and spring and I haven't really put paired it with any outfit. I wore it with this I wore it with this denim skirt right here that I got from Free People. It's really pretty. It has a really nice shape. It's not tight but it's not like a loose like fitting if that makes sense. Some distressing but not too much so it's really pretty and it fits the body really nicely. <laughs> Pair that outfit with the same black bag from Expressions NYC. Then I paired it with the same Doc Martin sandal. So then I was like, okay, the skirt's kind of throwing me off. Maybe, maybe the skirt's not the only route I could do this. Let me do denim jeans because I feel like they look good. Pair this with my Reformation jeans that I bought a long time ago. They're so pretty. Like these are my favorite wash in denim. Like I just love this wash. Like, oh, it's just so pretty, it's so bright. So I bought these Julia High cigarette jean. Really pretty. In one of the clips, you're gonna see that with the knit bra top and cardigan. I wore that. Changed the shoe to something more, I don't know, chic? <laughs> Sophisticated, I don't know. But these leather loafers, and they're in white, which is really cute. I thought these were so cute. These are my mom's. We have like the similar shoe sizes, so I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I was like, yes. I was like, let me get this, let me. These are so cute. Like, just look at that. And you just slide them on, they're so cute. And then I kind of changed up the bag, because I was like, yeah, let me just, let me be different. Let me change up the bag. So I got this nice beaded bag. Like, look at that. It's just, it's like, it's almost like you don't even want to wear it because you don't want to disrupt the stitching and the intricate details and embellishments. It's really pretty. With the long chain, I started with that and I was like, okay, that is it. <laughs> I made this video to kind of use the outlet for my creativity for fashion so kind of being cooped up I just wanted to let let like let that out and just kind of put on some cute outfits that I can't really wear right now and I hope that it serves as inspiration for others to kind of you know throw on all their outfits and wear it around the house just to be fun and just to like you know feel free so I just want to say thank you guys for watching please like Please subscribe and even leave a comment if you guys want to. That would be so cool. Thank you for watching.